Hey guys, how's it going? Jay here. So it's day 24 of Tiny House Construction. I just want to show you a quick update of what I've been doing. So right now I'm standing on top of a loft area. This is the flooring that I've made for the loft. As you can see over there, I've got the aspenite sheet hooked up. Also got some piece of aspenite over here, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So right now my goal for today, just build the loft area on the other side, and I'm gonna start building the roof. We got a bit of tin that I ordered, so I'll be able to use that and stop using tarp. Still have to spray a bit of leak seal on the plywood in the back. So, so I'm actually going to get down and I'm, I'll show you uh, underneath the loft. Okay, so it's good to be back on ground level. <laughs> so I'll show you what I've done with the, with the tiny house. So I've, as you can see, I put aspenite, two sheet of aspenite on this side. So I have to do one sheet on this side. But would you look at that? So that's gonna be my that's gonna be my height. I've actually got about a foot a foot high on top. So it's plenty of space, plenty of headroom, so I'll be able to cook in the kitchen with no problem. So just a quick update on day 24, and see you next update. Guys, how's it going? So Jay here, it's day 26 of Tiny House Construction. Just going to show you a quick update of what I've been doing. So. As you can see right here, I actually got a slide out. This is a three foot slide out. It's actually gonna make the living space feel a lot more bigger. it would be uh, 11 feet wide inside once it's fully expanded. So that's a slide out. What I'm gonna have here is actually, here I'll have a booth on each side. It'll be a dining, dining area and living area. They'll face that wall, and I'll have a TV on this side and a wood stove on, in the corner. In this section right here, I'm actually going to have a door. It would be like a back entrance for the tiny house. So, this slide out is 8 foot 9 inches wide by 3 feet wide. As you can see on top there, I've also got the loft. That's the second loft on the trailer. Right underneath that loft, there will be a bathroom. As you can see, I had to cut out a section here. That's where the, the roof for the slide out will fit snugly right into it. So just a quick update, day 25, see you in the next video. Hey guys, how's it going? So it's day 26 of trail, Tiny House Construction. Uh, right now, I just rented a, a van. This will be for the rest of the tiny house. So it'll be a solid plywood, uh, plywood for the roof, plywood for the floor, uh, aspenite for the side. So I'm almost, with the rest of the plywood, I'll be finished with the outside shell of the tiny house. So this is a huge step forward. I'll be able to start 
and doors and uh, doing doors and windows. Pro probably insulating too. So this van here is about 25 bucks, Home Depot. It's really affordable. It's probably the best best way to buy a bunch of plywood whenever you don't have room in your uh, your car. So 25 bucks, can't go wrong with that. That gives you 90 minutes just to drive home and bring your plywood back. So I'm gonna drop this off at my house and then uh, finish construction. Hey guys, how's it going? So day 26. So as you can see, I rented a trailer. So come inside. I actually got lots of room. That allowed me to bring all my plywood to finish the rest of the house. As, as you can see, just a quick update of, on a tiny house. So I've got, got that done. Started working on the roof here. Also did part, part of this wall. Part of this wall. I still have to cut, cut that to size for the patio door. Also started working on the electrical. We got a few lights hooked up for at night. So then that's how it looks like right now. Also put a sheet on top of the loft. So quick update, day 26 of Tiny House Construction. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Guys, how's it going? So day 27. Today marks an exciting day because I finally got the tin for the roof. So here it is. It's a brown colored roof. So I've got 13 sheets of that. That should finish off the roof. As you can see over here, I've also got the blue skin. That's a waterproofing membrane that will go underneath the roof, as well as uh, the felt. The felt is lifetime guarantee, so it would be good forever. Now, as you can see over here, I've actually got the dormer made. And I started to sheet the, the slide out. So yeah, quick update, day 27, see you in the next video. Guys, so in case you're wondering how I'm building all of this, I've actually got a SketchUp file. I can link, link it in the description down below. So you'll be able to download it, and if you want to build it yourself, you can easily do so. So, links in the description down below if you want the SketchUp file for this tiny house. Thanks for watching.